I'm going to show you how to fix your PSVR2 controllers that are not working or you're not able to connect. So the first thing is go ahead and turn your PS5 on and then go ahead and log in. So log in to your user account. And now you want to go to settings, okay, all the way on the top right hand side. So let's go up and go all the way over to settings right there. You can see the little gear icon. Click on the X on your controller. And now from here, what you want to do is you want to go down to accessories, okay? We're going to go to accessories. We're going to click on the X there. Move over to the right one to Bluetooth accessories right there. Click on OK or X on the remotes. And now currently, you can see I have both of my PSR or PSVR2 controllers. They're both connected. They're right and the left. Now, it depends if you only have one controller has issues or both of them, okay? I'm going to, go ahead, I'm going to only go ahead and do the right one here, okay? So right now the right side, you can see it's connected. So first thing is, let me just do this. Let's say even though I'm connected, it still wouldn't work correctly. Let me go ahead and go to the, my right here. Let me select on the X here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna totally delete. I'm gonna go down to delete, click on delete, move over to the right, okay it. So I delete it, now it's completely gone, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect it back. So I'm gonna grab my, cap my charging cable that's connected to my PS5. I'm gonna grab the right controller here. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in the charging cable. Plug it in. All right. Now I'm just going to go ahead and tap the PS button on here. Okay. There we go. All right. Now you can see it's connected. Now hopefully it's connected and it is working. If not, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hard reset the controller. Okay. So you can hard reset the left or the right. We're only going to do the right here, okay? So with the right here, let me go ahead and unplug it. Now, if you look at the controller, there's a little tiny reset hole, okay? So this is the right hand here. So if you go ahead and near the trigger up here, if you look right under here, and this is for both of the controllers, okay? You can see a little tiny hole right there, okay? So what you need to do is stick a little needle that's going to fit in there, okay? Now, I tried a SIM ejection tool. Now, this worked, but I really had to pry it in. Uh, this one here worked the best. This little toothpick here, except I broke the tip off the end. When you put the uh, needle in the hole, you should feel like a little spring. What you need to do is press and hold. Now, if you don't have this laying around, you can al also use like a paper clip. I couldn't use this one here. I had to use one that was slightly thinner. This one's a little bit thinner, even though this one I had to kind of press it in here. So let me go ahead and reset these. And we're going to put the needle in here. You kind of have to play with it, okay? It takes a little while, okay? And then once you get it in there, you just want to press and hold until you see something on the TV where it says it's, like, disconnected, okay? So let me, okay. So, all right, so it says uh, your controller is disconnected, okay? So I had to press it in there. I just had to hold for, like, four or five seconds, and I let go, and that was up there, okay? Now you can see that the controller is no longer connected, so we just hard reset this. Now we just got to connect this back. Now again, same thing. Grab your charging cable that's connected to your PS5. We're going to go ahead and pop that in here. And you want to wait like a few seconds and then you would eventually press the PS button. Okay, there we go. And now it's connected. All right, hopefully that worked for you guys. Good luck.